Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church Manila, just providing you a really quick missionary update. And uh, so this past week we had a total of 56 salvations, and that's aside from our school ministry. And so in our school ministry we preached to um, almost 1,200 students, I think 1,160 was our final count, 39 classrooms. And so it was a pretty good week considering that uh, Monday um, we had to cancel our Bulacan Soul Winning Marathon because of the high chance of heavy rains. But uh, we ended up having some clear areas, so there's a group of people that went out soul winning and got some people saved. And then Tuesday classes were canceled because of the rain, but uh, then Wednesday through Friday we hit a lot of schools and there's some other people at our church that volunteered to help and uh, did some preaching and we preached quite a bit. Um, Wednesday specifically I preached uh, four times um, in the schools and each session is an hour long, so I was preaching for 45 minutes apiece. And so three hours of solid preaching, then we had five o'clock soul winning and then I preached a sermon at 7 p.m., so it was a really busy day. And so the school ministry is a great opportunity, and uh, it's, it's not replacing our uh, personal soul winning, um, our church time soul winning and things such as that, but it's just kind of in addition. So 56 salvations from soul winning, and then 1160 students preached to that heard the gospel for 40 plus minutes in the sessions. And so that was exciting, and we still have some uh, schools left to do. I'm going to be gone, but there's actually going to be some guys that are going to be keeping that going while I'm gone. And so that's going to be great and so continue to pray for us and um, also i preached on wednesday on psalms 13 and 14 and i paralleled psalms 14 with romans chapter 3 as uh, there's quotes being taken from romans 3 from psalms 14 and so it's kind of an interesting topic a pretty deep one because uh, there's a section between romans 10 310 and 323 that really seems to be talking about reprobates which i believe it is but not just your general everyday sinner because the bible mentions in romans 3 18 there was no fear of God before their eyes and yet Cornelius was an unsaved man who feared God and but I do believe Romans 3:10 and 3:23 apply to just your average everyday person it's a really in-depth topic you know you really have to check out the sermon to get it but Romans 3:19 is really the one that kind of sheds light on it as it goes back to saying that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God so it went from talking about reprobates in verse 18 to verse 19 talking about your average everyday unsaved person and so check that out if you get a chance and then um, today I just preached, um, the first sermon was how to please God, and we looked at four points there. And then, um, you know, the last sermon was reasons why people don't go soul winning. And I had only three points in that sermon, but I had a lot of sub points of reasons why people don't go soul winning. And so uh, those were the sermons this week, and so uh, things are going great. I'm actually heading out uh, tomorrow night, Monday night, to uh, go to the United States. And um, you know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be at Verity for just over a week, and I'm gonna be preaching at uh, their church three times, and also in Verity Fresno, as well, and also at Mountain Baptist at their anniversary, um, you know, coming up when I'm in West Virginia. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm gonna definitely stay busy, but um, at the same time, obviously get to see friends and family and such as that. So, uh, anyways, the work's gonna continue here in Verity, Manila, though, and um, you know there's gonna be a lot of people going soul winning. A lot of things happening this month, a lot of people visiting the church, and I, I apologize to people that are visiting and I'm going to be gone. Then people moving, someone moving here this coming Sunday and things such as that. It's an exciting time though, lots are, lots is taking place, so continue to pray for our church here in Manila because I'm sure they're going to still get a lot of people saved and do lots of soul winning while I'm gone. And uh, definitely pray for me and my uh, trip to the United States as well. Anyways, thank you and God bless.